Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I am going to once again try to land on the moon. I think the problem last time with my Delta V reading as somebody in the comments to the YouTube video suggested was that the CubeSat small masses throw off the Delta V reading. And so basically there is a minimum mass that KSP recognizes and the little platforms inside the CubeSats are smaller than that. Uh, basically, we can see here that the CubeSat, this container is 0.2 kilograms, this is 0.6 kilograms, and for instance, this CubeSat command core is 0.2 kilograms and so forth. This is a problem I had before and I did remember it eventually, but I had forgotten about it temporarily during the recent two, uh, RP2000 episodes. But yeah, basically, all these get turned into one kilogram things as far as KSP physics is concerned and so the delta V reading is incorrect and that was the problem we were having so what should we do about that maybe maybe we should just um, not have a CubeSat <laughs> uh, yeah we, maybe we should just not have a CubeSat and instead go with a legitimate core in order to do the thing. Of course, that means a bigger rocket, but uh, at least we'll have the right numbers. Right now, the CubeSat itself, the control core, if you will, is 0.019 tons according to this. Uh, and according to the real Delta V, it is. But according to Mechjeb, Mechjeb, see, when Mechjeb shows the Delta V, it thinks about the Delta V in terms of the stated masses not the physics mass that KSP will eventually use to actually give me the delta V. The modern control core is gotta be our solution for this. It's gotta have SAS and everything. And as far as how it compares to existing mass, I mean, our existing mass is 0.019 tons and the modern control core is 0.02. So that's not too bad. And otherwise, you know, it's got the real antenna thing. It's got some electric charge, uh, pretty much as much as this had, including the little panels I had in there. What it doesn't have is the science, and so we'll have to slap the science on the side of it. Hopefully, well, the science, the little science parts are gonna be a problem. So modern, let's get rid of this, this whole business. Unlock the modern control core. But we'll also have to have another antenna, either for local or for communicating from the moon. Hmm, comms, I don't want a comm unit that's gotta be so light. Maybe I should just use the commutatron. As my secondary comms. Tucking it a little bit. That, in theory, would be safe. Let's have the Cumulotron be S-band. And that should be fine. Let's see from the moon. Plenty. And then this can be the UHF as normal. I mean, this isn't too bad right now. 2,889. Okay, so solar panels. And then science. Um, maybe we can risk slapping these on anyway. It probably doesn't throw the stuff off too much. Let's see. Unfortunately this isn't like reading a Delta V figure that makes sense. Uh, you know what? Let's leave off the Cometron. I'll, I'll put another one of these. Maybe it's a bad idea though. And use this for S-band. Okay, well, we have a pad limit of 40 tons still, and the question is whether we can do this mission with the pad at 40 tons, or whether I have to upgrade the pad and just bite that, and we can't do a lander mission with what we've got right now. The thrust weight ratio here is really bad for this. So, that's a problem. Now these engines, they're pretty okay. 
we might want to increase the size of this stage and decrease the size of that stage so that this just has enough for landing. Okay, well, increasing the size of this stage actually decreases our delta v. Uh, so, right there is optimal for that stage. So that's not great, because the first two stages seem to get us to orbit. Maybe maybe increasing the stage is a good idea, even if it diminishes our delta v, because we'll probably have some left over in this stage. It just occurred to me we don't actually have solar panels. Do we not have solar panels other than the CubeSat solar panels? Well, gosh darn it. Um, <laughs> That makes things a little bit harder, doesn't it? All the way in electrics. We have to get electrics for the solar panels. That's a while. But okay, we should start working our way up to that. Solar panels are sort of important. And while we're at it, we might as well spend some more upgrade points for science. So, what do we do about not having solar panels? Well, we're, we're probably going to have to have another CubeSat again, right? It surely doesn't have enough power to get over there without solar panels of some kind. Well, I should make it so that people can get solar panels earlier. But this means I can't trust the Delta V reading at all. Okay, so this is totally lying about the Delta V. <laughs> what are we going to do about that? I don't know. Okay, well, I'll try it once again, and keep in mind that I don't have the Delta V that it says because we're using the CubeSat, but basically we're going to try to get to the point where we can unlock the solar panels so we can just use the modern control core with that. Uh, with those panels, but for now we have to use the CubeSat panels anyway, so we might as well use this, but sort of compensate for the fact that the Delta V reading is going to be wrong, hopefully. So, that is the plan. Okay, so how long do we have for this? One year and 265 days. So we should get the solar panels in time before the contract runs out. So, that's good. Let's build this one and see what happens. Maybe we'll get it done. Okay, here we go. SAS isn't a thing because it's a CubeSat. Brawl up, ignition. And launch. And it's frisky. Well, punching right through Max Q here. And high G forces. And staging. SC 2006 here. Fairing set. Yeah, we still will have extra Delta V in this stage, which is no good. We should make a heavier stage here, even if it seems suboptimal. We are in orbit. We did waste 307 meters per second, and I did leave this stage in orbit, which is a little bit sad. But alright, staging. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, and... Go. Whoa. Yes, I still haven't fixed the plumes. Well, hopefully Fizz Warp doesn't introduce any other inconsistencies. Well, we don't have any forward-facing ones right now, apparently. Uh, let me just have the center engine fire. A few times. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Got a few ignitions, it'll be alright. Still got 33 remaining. Okay, 
Uh, well, we'll need to make sure that we keep electric charge. Not like that. That's not how you keep electric charge. Landing your failure. I, I think those don't actually do anything. I'm just going to pretend that. Now our CS board failure definitely does something, but we have some redundancy on those this time around. I'll get it a little bit closer to the moon. Okay, about 50 kilometers. This stage we'll be able to capture it, but the next stage we'll have to bring it to a nice low orbit. Okay, capture burn. Oh, we could have more than one. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's only a 1 minute and 25 minute... Uh, sorry, 1 minute and 25 second stage. Okay, staging. Oh, but it does keep making the sound. When it's busted, it keeps making the sound. So this delta V number is a lie. So is that one. <laughs> okay, well, that should be the Sea of Tranquility again, I think. Five minutes in the stage. Okay, here we go. We supposedly have about 600 meters per second above the surface velocity, but that's not going to be exactly correct. I probably shouldn't even have come to the Sea of Tranquility again. We could probably have gotten some other signs if it was a different biome. Now, the surplus Delta V is going away real fast even though we're not pointed away from retrograde. Stupid CubeSat approximations. Nah, this is gonna end up about the same. Yep, our delta V has gone down below our surface velocity now. We just need the regular solar panels and regular control core. Trying to use the CubeSat for this is just not good enough. Or we don't have enough delta V feedback. I could just make an overwhelming rocket and dump the 40 ton pad limit thing. Well, litho breaking again. Alright, yeah, that's a bust. Maybe we should push the paddle and make a big rocket with a big lander that has overwhelming delta V and do it like that. Let's see. We could make the third stage bigger because there's delta V remaining in the second stage, but... Do we want to belabor this? Maybe. I mean, there is cachet in being able to do this with a 40 ton rocket, I think. So, let's see. Basically, this combined can be 8,870 and it'll still work out. I want 16,000. But still, I don't think it's going to work very well. Yes, just in case this doesn't work, we'll save and build one. Uh, we will do the pad upgrade. Well, I'll, I'll fix the fairings when we launch. Uh, we might be too heavy though, I don't know. Hold on. I didn't check the little thing at the bottom there. Alright, and we will start the pad upgrade. Yeah, uh, okay, fine. We can rebalance this so the second stage does more. We'll see. Okay, let's let's just save that now. Okay, so launch pad is being built 400 days. Uh, we should get some upgrade upgrade points in the VAB, which should increase the pad upgrades or pad yeah pad upgrade speed. We actually not don't just need basic science. We need electrics and we need 14 more science for that oh no upgrading the launch pad occupies it so we can't roll it out 
We can't roll it out while the launch pad is being upgraded. It'll take 38 days to build it. And cost 10,000. Alright, we'll have another pad that's smaller. Launch pad 2. Okay, launch pad 2, roll out. And launch. Okay, a well, throttle up. Ignition. And launch. Will this somewhat more optimized version actually work? Really tough to say. But until we get more science and a bigger pad, there's not too much else we can do. Unless we want to move to interplanetary missions. Okay, fairing set. Okay, well, this time this one will deorbit. Okay, that is an orbit. Will this result in something better than last time? I don't know. Okay, that's what we want. Okay. And go. I don't think our situation has vastly improved. No, landing gear failure again. Ooh, that's a little bit low. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I mean, we're sort of in the same spot as far as this stage is concerned. Hopefully the upper stage has a little bit more this time, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, separation and ignition. Oh, we'll have to take that. The periapsis is going down too much. Okay, um... Let me get out of the save and come back in so that we don't have to hear that noise so much. Okay, well... Yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to be any better than last time. But I guess we'll find out. Let's just try for whatever this batch over here is. Sea of... Fecundity? Whatever the heck that is? Alright. Line back is a bit weak. Now you see some science. Okay, we've got a gravity scan for here. But that's still not good enough to get us the solar panels. Okay, well this is looking a little bit better this time. I think I can't trust that suicide burn countdown. Okay. Oh gosh, the RCS causes a lot of extra horizontal speed. Up. 
Okay, okay, off, off, off. All right, we landed barely. Well, what is it doing now? No, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's just, it, it just, it just has to do that for me. <laughs> I, I blame the broken struts, I guess. Uh, they're not compressing or anything. It's just because it's me, it has to tip over though. Okay, more science. Okay, I think that's that. And yes, we got the contract fulfilled. So, okay, we did it with a 40 ton pad, but very barely. All right, back to Space Center.